What do you think? Screw cap or cork? There's a lot of long, complex discussions that are going on in the wine industry about screw caps and cork. And of course, screw caps are used on many New World wines, and cork is used on many Old World wines. But more recently, new Old World wineries are putting screw caps on their white wines. Why is that? Well, first of all, cork has a problem. Cork is a live thing. It comes out of a cork tree, mainly produced in Portugal. And when the cork is pulled out of the cork tree, it is full of bacteria. That needs cleaned. The chemicals that are used to clean the bacteria out of the cork can never then be cleaned out again. And so what happens is the chemicals that remain, they react with the wine when the wine is in our cellar and they cause a natural chemical called TCA and TCA you often find it on white wines on the bottom of the cork. You can rub it off with your nail. But TCA is what reacts with the wine and makes a wine corked. Now, nobody wants to go to a shop and buy a, cork, a corked wine. You get it home. It tastes terrible. If you don't realize it's corked, you think that the wine is terrible. You then take that bottle back to the shop. The shop might take that bottle back to the winery, but the winery will never find the cork uh, producer. So th that's just not going to work. What more recently, in the past 30 or 40 years, winemakers have done to stop that is they've produced the screw cap. And inside here we have a non-reactive foil, so this doesn't react at all like a cork does with the wine. And this goes onto the bottle, and of course it's easy to use, the wine is accessible, and the wine cannot at all be tainted. There are marginal moments, you know, one, nine, 199 times out of a thousand the wine is fine. It can oxidize occasionally if you bang the top of the screw cap uh, hard during transport, but generally this is the perfect seal. Now obviously it takes away the romance. Restaurants, uh, mainly in Europe, they don't like to open the, the wine like that with a screw cap. They like to do the table side service with the cork and serve the wine. But you know, if you're serving a wine with a cork and it's off in the restaurant, who's paying for it. So this is one of the reasons why they have the screw cap. It's simple to use. The wine is going to get to the table in the same quality that it leaves the vineyard. And it's just, it's, it's the perfect way to seal a wine. The only issue is when you have very strong, uh, well-built and uh, complex red wines, um, like for example, Bordeaux or Barolos, which have very much concentration in the bottle. And when you put a screw cap on one of those very uh, concentrated wines, they don't have the chance to breathe. Now, there was so much wine production and wine became so popular in the past 10 or 20 years that there became a level of corks that was very bad quality. And I think that since the industry has changed a bit to screw cap, it has released a bit of a valve on the, on the cork industry and they've been able to work on a, on a quality factor. And in Bordeaux and Barolo and those areas like Burgundy where they're producing Napa Valley where they've got the very good reds, um, they, they buy high quality cork. You know, that's two, three, four euros per cork. It's pretty much solid wood. And what happens then in the bottle is that the wine itself can breathe a little bit. The big problem is that as you go down in quality, corks change on how much air intake can go in and out of the bottle. And it can be between 1% and 1,000%. So you could have a box of wines and after 20 years, one of them tastes like it's 20 years old, but another one might taste like it's 100 years old. So you've got to get very high quality cork. And that's why these don't work on, uh, on cheaper wines. And that's why we have the screw cap. And that's why occasionally plastic, wines are, plastic corks are used. Plastic corks are simply in a bottle just to seal it because the, the winemaker knows the wine's going to be drunk um, quite soon after it's bought. But with the high quality corks, uh, what happens is the wine stays in the bottle and then slowly the wine will breathe, but eventually the oxygen will leave the bottle because there's only a small amount normally in a full bottle. 
and the wine will develop anaerobically without oxygen but it will still have a little bit of space to sort of like to let a little bit of its power out these big Bordeaux's now that doesn't work with a screw cap so what happens is when you have those big we have a couple of Shirazes from Australia where they produce half under cork half under screw cap when you take the screw cap off one of those big bold Shiraz wines you get a bit of a tarry character in the beginning it's a bit of a, a blowing off of what's stuck in the bottle you can imagine what's going to happen the grapes have been pressed the juice has gone into the bottle they've put the screw cap on it and this wine is just gonna it's got to go somewhere it's it's doing things in the bottle and the, the screw cap contains it too much and that's why corks are great for those big wines so generally I would suggest for Brad's wines we would like to have the screw caps because the wines that we are buying are for early drinking they're easy drinking wines but when you're buying something that's that you want to sell her, or that you are buying that has got a lot of character you know these big Bordeaux etc they are generally under cork there's an argument for both but for your wines that you're going to drink every day that we're going to send you I would suggest the screw cap now that's an ongoing discussion and I hope that I've given a little bit of a overview on and some good information for you on that thank you